Hello, dear students. My name is Lerka, and I will be your English teacher for today. This is the English lesson for grade 5 primary school. So, welcome. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to write about Croatia and also how to create a poster about Croatia. So, what do you need for this lesson? You need all the usual things, your notebook, pencil or pen, and your device with internet connection. So, if you are ready, let's start. Which of these three maps is a map of Croatia? Is it the first one? The one in the middle? Or the blue one? What do you think? Of course, it's the one in the middle. The second one. And do you maybe know which country is the first one? That's Italy. And the blue one? These are the United States of America. Great. And now please, tell me a sentence about Croatia. You can start with Croatia is or Croatia has. Let me help you. Croatia is beautiful. Croatia has many islands. Croatia has high mountains. Croatia is in Europe. Croatia has the Adriatic Sea. And Croatia is a small country for a great holiday. Well done. And now please open your notebooks and copy these sentences in your notebooks. And you will fill in the blanks with the superlative of the adjectives in brackets. Sada prepišite ove rečenice, a na crte ćete napisati superlative od pridjeva u zagradi. Stop the video and do your task. Welcome back and let's check. Croatia is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It is also one of the smallest. Croatian footballers are one of the most famous and our musicians are one of the best. In Croatia you can do the most interesting things. You can go swimming, cycling or sailing. Or you can just relax or even party all the time. Great, let's go on. And now let's check how much you really know about our country. So what is the most famous Croatian city? What do you think? Let me help you. It's Dubrovnik. What part of Croatia is in the east? Kako nazvamo istočni dio Hrvatske? Help. Oh, Slavonia. And what's this? Can you recognize it? And where is it? Maybe you don't know how to say it in English. In Croatian it's top. And in English it's canon. And you can see it in Zagreb. And especially if you come at noon, you can even hear it. It's on Greek. What is the most famous Croatian national park? There are eight. And the most famous? Plitvice Lakes. What's the most beautiful Croatian building? But that's difficult. But people say that it's the most beautiful Croatian building is in Šibenik, the Cathedral of St. James. Great. And let's see how much you remember. I will ask a question and you answer quickly. Which city is the most famous Croatian city? Which part of Croatia is in the east? Where is the famous canon? What is the most famous Croatian national park? What is the most beautiful Croatian building? Great. And now please copy this table in your notebook 
Because we are going to watch a video. Sada prepišite ovu tablicu u bilježnicu, gledat ćemo jedan video i vaš će zadatak biti da napišete što čujete da kažu da možemo posjetiti, visit i što možemo vidjeti, see. Are you ready? Ok, let's go. You have to see this video. When you come to Croatia, you have to visit the city where I have found my love, Dubrovnik. And you have to visit my Slavonia. You have to visit our national parks. our food and see a concert in this place you have to learn the game in the local playground like we did and hit the basket on his court in our city Shivenik sunniest coastlines in Europe. You have to enjoy coffee on any of our squares. And see the most beautiful Croatian building. To listen to the biggest Croatian musician, the sea organ in Zadar. And see the great cannon fire off in my city. all night relax all day skate like this climb like that swim here cycle there sail everywhere If you want to lift your spirits sky high, you have to come to Croatia. Croatia, full of life. And welcome back. I hope you liked the video. And now let's check what have you got in your notebooks. So, you can visit Dubrovnik, visit Slavonia, visit national parks, Visit one of the sunniest coastlines and see the Greek Canon, the most beautiful building, the Cathedral of St. James in Šibenik, and see a concert. And now, dear students, please add your own ideas. You can stop the video, think, and add your ideas. A sada, ako vam je ovo sve točno, imate u bilježnici, dodajte još svoje ideje. Što možemo vidjeti u Hrvatskoj? I što možemo posjetiti u Hrvatskoj? Visit, posjetiti, si, vidjeti. Ok, great, well done. Now please, copy these sentences in your notebook and fill in with there is or there are. Sada ove rečenice prepišite u bilježnicu i popunite praznine sa there is ili there are. Stop the video and do the activity. Let's check. There are many famous cities in Croatia. There is Dubrovnik in the south and Zagreb in the north. There are eight national parks. There are Plitvice lakes in Lika and there is Paklenica near Zadar. There are many things you can do in Croatia. I hope it was easy and let's go on. Here you can see a poster 
about our country. It says, visit one of the most beautiful countries in the world. In Croatia, you can relax, have fun, sail, swim, climb mountains, and party all night. Visit all eight national parks and beautiful cities. Eat great food and have lots of fun. Okay? This poster is for people who will come to Croatia, our tourists. Do you like it? Your task is to create the poster. So first, you will write sentences about Croatia. You can use your table in your notebook, visit and see, and other sentences in your notebook. But please add two or more of your own ideas. Then create pictures and finally create your poster. You can use Canva or your paper traditional poster. Znači, vaš je zadatak da napravite poster u Hrvatskoj. Imate u bilježnici rečenice koje ste pisali, ali molim vas dodajte još barem dvije svoje nove ideje. Napravite slike ili ako ćete raditi u digitalnom alatu Canva, možete ih naći na internetu. Ako ne znate koristiti Canva, ispod videa imate objašnjeno kako se Canva koristi. A možete napraviti i klasičan poster kod kuće. Ok? And now this is your checklist to see if you did everything you need to do. I have written the sentences, yes or no, napisao sam rečenice. I have added my ideas, two or more, dodao sam svoje dvije ili više ideja. I have drawn or pasted pictures, nacrtao sam slike ili sam ih našao na internetu. And I have created a poster. I napravio sam poster. Great, you're doing fine. And... By the end of this lesson, here is a quiz. You can uh, write this in your browser and find it there. Or uh, below the video, there is a video description and you can hit the link there. I ovdje je sad već pred kraje lekcije jedan quiz kojim možete provjeriti svoje znanje u Hrvatskoj ako upišete u alatnu traku ovu adresu ili ispod videa imate također link. And let's see, what is it that you can do now, by the end of this lesson? You can talk about Croatia, yes or no. You can write about Croatia, yes or no. And you can create a poster about Croatia. I think you can do it all. I have really enjoyed preparing this lesson for you. I hope it wasn't difficult. And I hope you have enjoyed it too. So, goodbye. And see you this summer in Croatia.